Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Friday. Sam and I love Friday, it means that we get to sleep in tomorrow. But it's Sophie's birthday weekend and we have a lot of plans and she's so excited. It is morning and it is time to clean out these chickens. Wow, you guys are getting fancy. Look at how cute, whoa. Oh, look at how big they are. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Ellie's like, yeah, let's eat them. <laughs> you can't eat them. I cleaned up the playroom so it's a lot better. But now it's time for me to clean these guys up. They stink. Get them fresh water and fresh food. They're waiting for the food. <laughs> They're like, you didn't give us food since last night. They'll eat like a whole one of these things so fast. All right. All fresh and ready to go. Smelling good. Brand new food. I'll change their water later this afternoon. So it's Sophie's birthday this weekend. It's Sophie's birthday weekend. And I'm excited. We're going to the mall. So I want to buy her a new bridal for Lady. I settled on that. She wants that. She needs that. She wants a really nice one. And I'm excited for that. But she doesn't want it for her birthday because show season's almost over. She has a bridal. She wants to spend her birthday money on things that she really wants for now, like for the winter. And you guys want to know what that is? She wants books and makeup. Books and makeup and clothes. Yeah, that's my Sophie. My horse addict Sophie wants books and makeup and clothes. Yeah, that's what happened. She's 15 this weekend and that's what she wants for her birthday. Oh, I'm gonna get, I already bought her books. I already bought her a hoodie. Uh, we're gonna go to the mall and see what else she wants. But I am gonna buy her a bridal for Christmas. She definitely wants it for Christmas. Um, she's not gonna get a lot of use out of it, like a show bridal. I want a really nice one. So please, you guys, comment below your favorite brands. I showed her like a few that were affordable that I was thinking like, I'll just buy it for her now. Um, but she didn't wanna waste her birthday budget on that because show season's almost over. She wants it for Christmas. So uh, comment below your fit, your tried and true and your favorite brand of show bridal. She likes the one piece across the top. She doesn't like the two pieces. That's what she had for Finn. And I just wanna see the nicest ones that you can get. Like I really want a nice one for her. You guys, it's gonna be summer again for the next week. And I'm gonna let my turkeys and my chickens free range again. The turkeys alone are eating a half a bag of feed each day. When they free range, they hardly eat any food because they're eating like bugs and, and bugs and ticks and stuff like that. But now, because of the feeder that I have in there that's super easy for them to get, they're eating a half a bag. And when I went in the barn last night, the turkeys were so fat. It's almost like they said to themselves, Thanksgiving's over, we can eat whatever we want. Well, you guys have been pooping a lot. That's not nice. Hi, babe. So Sam spent a bunch of time repairing our hay net. Hi. <laughs> You're feeling happy? Wait, let me see, what's on your head? I feel like he just keeps banging his head. Let me see. Anyway, Sam keeps repairing our hay net. And he did a really good job of it. <laughs> this is how he does it, and it's fine, it works. But the, but the horses literally make it their full-time job. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. The horses make it their full-time job to literally rip holes in this net so that they can eat as much as they want. I really wanna go on a trail ride this weekend. I maybe should bring Penny to the lesson barn. Hi, sweetie. Hi, the bugs are back. You guys grew this huge coat and now it's winter again or it's summer again. Be nice to her. Don't do that while I'm here. Gosh, I literally was scratching Storm's head like this and then all of a sudden he just started swinging his head like crazy and it was because he saw a bug. Like, I always forget that he is so sensitive. Wow. Oh, these are bug bites on his head. Yep, that's what those little bumps are. Bug bites. I'm sorry. Sorry the bugs, sorry the bugs bite you. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> Hi, honey bear. Hi, baby. I love you too. Man, I love these horses. Just having them here is just, 
amazing especially when they come up and they're like hi Laura <laughs> anyways I came out today just to check the fencing this is my first check of the day and I came out to check the fencing because like I said last time we closed the fences Penny pushed them open <laughs> oh hello <laughs> I just turn around and she's there I can't wait till she has a mane wow you are tall but she was a good girl and she did not tear down the fences to get to the grass you okay? Look, you're pooping in my spot again. Where are you clean? Oh, be nice. Oh. Anytime I'm near her, she throws a fit if anybody comes toward her. Be nice to that horse. I love that horse, too. Yeah. She came walking right over to me. Oh. Anyway, all's good in the horse field. Why do you have your head through the fence? Like, that's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> Let me see you get it back now. Oh my gosh. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it back. Do you guys think he's stuck? I want to walk away, but I think... I don't know. I think he's stuck. Okay, he's safe. <laughs> Crazy. That's why I come out a hundred times a day to check. The other thing I wanted to do was grab all the horse's water buckets and bring them inside and give them a good clean for the season. You guys, look how dark Stormy Boy is now. He's almost black again. That's my favorite color for him. And then Penny's almost black again too. She turns a really nice brown in the summer. I'm doing a check on goats. And they seem all right. They seem okay. Nobody's missing. Nobody missing, right? But I do know there's something about here, about this. About the horses. Oh. Actually, no. Everything's good. The horses, too. I just thought Gracie was la was out of the field. But she's not out of the field. She's in the in the right field. All the horses are eating out of the round bale. I don't know if I told you, but this meanie hates me. I don't know why. Every time I go near her, she pins her ears. I'm actually surprised you're coming up to me. Why are you coming up to me? Come here, come here. When I feed her her breakfast every morning and I go behind her to open the door for her to get out, she tries to kick me all the time. And now she's trying to make me a liar today. Are you making me a liar now? Honey, I can't believe you're... You let me, you're coming up to me. You never do that other than they want to kick me. Laura was telling me, go check on the goats because I think they're all missing. But no, you're here. You're here. Piggy sleeping. Hey, Piggy. You sleeping? Is that what you do all day? Sleep? Is that what you do all day? Sleep? In the hay? And all the goats are here. They're all here. And I just saw the girl pig somewhere. But you're not missing. You're not missing. And you're not missing. So they can go into that field. But they shouldn't be able to get out of the other two fields. It looks like they're not getting out, so that's good. Oh, there's the pig. <laughs> Everyone's around. Everyone's around today. You guys, it's so pretty. I'm like, every time I walk out of this house, I just see beauty, but look. Can you guys see that really bright patch of grass right there? When you come outside, the light from the setting sun is like illuminating that field. It looks so gorgeous. But anyways, it honestly is <laughs> not enough daylight for us anymore. All right, I wanna show you guys how big our turkeys are getting now because they're eating a half a bag of this a day. Like a half a bag of that, maybe every two days. Oh, I want, oh, wait. Okay, like, look, you guys. What the heck? Look at that turkey. I filled that thing up today. And one of these new chickens are laying eggs. But look at him. They grew so huge. They're huge. Wow, they're noisy, too. We are still getting used to doing so much stuff at night. You see four eggs in there? 
Yeah, that's gonna be awkward. We can't get eggs out of there. I got 14 eggs today and it's getting cold and it's getting dark early and I'm still getting like 14 eggs a day. Well, there's four in there, so that's 18 eggs. Man, the chickens gave me a headache because we gave them some like scraps and they were all like screaming and making noise. Where'd you put the goat grain? In the barn. Oh, thank you. It's like not even late out and it's already dark. Hi, baby, you're coming up to me. Hi. Wow, he, they're like, ow, get off my foot. All right, Come on, big piggy. Come on. Well, somebody's in heat, but you guys, you know what? I noticed that Blossom didn't come back into heat and neither has Lola. So Lola and Blossom have not come back into heat, but well, T Tilly's in heat. Not Tilly. Um, Cricket is in heat. You guys can't see her. Oh, come on. Cricket is not being bred, so too bad for little Mr. Ziggy. Shoot, I closed the door before it was time. Shoot, come on in. Come on. Did Ziggy come in that side? No. He doesn't want anything to do with coming in. He wants the girls. Oh my gosh. We got all day, mister. Your beds have been so cute in the morning. Come on. Like, look at, you guys can't see. It's hard to see depth in this camera, in any camera. Yes, I'm gonna go get your food. I'm gonna get it. Hold on, hold on, you're getting so big. Now that it's getting colder out, Sam did like a bigger grain run because while I love going to the grain store every week, I like seeing what they have, like they get new stuff. I just like going when you're home all the time. It's just fun to go. But when it's really cool now, eh, not as much. So we stocked up. We stocked up on a goat grain because they go through it really fast, especially with Sophie feeding them, which I like Sophie feeding them because she got them to a good weight that I wanted them to be at, but she kind of overdoes it too. Just like with people, the boy pig can eat whatever he wants and not gain a single pound. A posy still has to be like, I have to watch her every single second and she, she goes right to her belly. <laughs> like, if I overfeed her one single time, it goes right to her belly. I overfeed the pig, the boy pig, a hundred times. Like, I give him so much grain, so much more grain, and he doesn't gain weight ever. Oh, you're my sweet girl. But anyways, I want to show you guys her bed because <laughs> it's so deep. And she kind of has it like all going into there. But yeah, pigs are fun. Like they're so fun. They've been sleeping in their hay and they're in their straw. And I wanted to show you this sweet girl who's growing. Isn't she growing so much? She's so big now. Oh, she's so big now. Like she's a big goat. I mean, she's still a baby. This, these, All these goats are kind of short on the short side, but short goats are, are fine too. She's nice and wide, this one. I like her, her, I like her a lot. I like you a lot. She's like, just give me that pig grain then. I like pig grain. Anyway, she's in heat, but she's not being bred till the next year. I'm gonna give the Snickers a little more grain because even though he's a great weight, I like to see him a little bit chubbier. Eat lots. And be chubby. Look at all the hair he's getting. Did you guys see how thick it is? He's like, don't touch me. What's that? Dirt? I just want to pet you. But he's getting like fluffy. They don't get soft hair. They get like really bristly hair. But he's got a lot of it now. He's got a lot more than Posey. Poor pigs though. Like this is all they got to keep themselves warm in the winter. He might end up having to stay inside a lot. What? Not in the house, don't worry. But both of them were raised in the house so that it's not like it'd be hard on them. He stinks, she said. Not as true. All right, back out into the dark. It's gonna be super warm this week. Like, like 80 degrees maybe, I don't know. What is 22? Oh, probably like 78, 70, 78 maybe, I don't know. But anyways, it's gonna be nice and warm. And like summer again. And I'm super excited. Stopped bringing Ellie out with Kirby, and it's been helping a lot. She's even bonding with Sam See how more she's and more. She's not jumping up until I tell her to. Yeah, she's good. She just wiggles around. I know. Look at how big she is, you guys. 
she's huge she's super affectionate super loving so many people are like you're gonna hate her she's gonna be Talk. terrible with the horses Yo, she's like so timid Talk. sit but not super timid Talk. Kirby she's excited Kirby sit but she doesn't bother with the horses sit. at all sit. she doesn't mess with them paw paw <laughs> or no, take paw. all of me <laughs> Okay, leave her in here. Anyway, she hears Get. us out here and she comes running. Stay. Go. Stay, Kirby. Sam, call Stay. your dog. Like, it's so amazing to see her and Sam together. Like, he needed a dog that loved him. And one that was easy to manage. And it's weird to me, like, how everybody's perspective is so different. Like, if you live on a farm and you have a farm lifestyle... Those kind of dogs are nothing. Like, she just fits in and she's easy and she doesn't need any extra special anything. And then other people say, like, they're crazy. They're hard to manage. Same with the Border Collie. Like, it's border been good. Collies border Collies are amazing. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we start celebrating a Sophie's whole birthday weekend. It's gonna be super fun. I can't wait till Sunday. Sunday we go riding. It's gonna be a blast. Don't you know that you're beautiful?